Okay, we're back where we started. We headed over to to the east. We're going now to the west. Uh, we're going to recheck our steps from the last time we were here, see if I missed anything, which I'm sure I did because I found almost nothing. Uh, that was back when I was first starting, trying to remember my agate eyes, and I've since improved them, so hopefully I'll see some stuff. driving me crazy not to be able to wash stuff off because there's a lot of stuff that is kind of like a well maybe and you have to really look at it to be able to see if it's worth hauling home and without water I can't see it sometimes even with water I can't see it well, I think I'm gonna call this one a no Yes, you don't like me so close to the water, do you? Oh, I know why I picked this one up. This is not because I think it's a, a Montana agate. It's because it looks like a different kind of agate and it looks really pretty. Check this out. Anybody know what that is? Let me know in the comments. One fun thing about rock hunting is that it takes you places that not everybody sees. I'm underneath the bridge here at, uh, at Mile City and we're working on getting over to this place where all these trucks are parked because I'm pretty sure that there's a way to get over there given that there are trucks there. But I don't think it's this way. Well, as I suspected, this beach is covered with ice, but only ice. There's no water underneath it, thank goodness. So I'm able to cross over to where the trucks are pretty easily. I'm assuming these guys went fishing, but I'm also hoping that there's a gravel beach here somewhere, somewhere close by. So I'll check in later and let you know. Well, I did get my wish. This is a beautiful gravel beach, a beautiful winter day. This will be the very last time in 2019 I will be at the Yellowstone River. I know this because in two days, no, in one day, tomorrow, I am leaving and I'm going to Oregon for a time. And so this will be my very last rock hunt of 2019. Uh, I've really had a wonderful year. I've enjoyed myself so much and enjoyed sharing my, my adventures with you all. I've enjoyed meeting all of you. So it's really been quite an experience and I want to thank you all for being so supportive and so just gosh darn awesome. And I want to wish you all a very, very happy 2020. This isn't an agate, it's a piece of sandstone, but it has some super interesting uh, texture here. I think what happened is that there were cracks in the mud and then those cracks filled with some other slightly harder kind of material and made that. So cool. And then right over here, A little something for my rock tumbler. Look at how pretty that is. This doesn't look very big, but it sure does look interesting. See those bands? Wow, that is super cool. nice thing about beaches this large is that you really can't see all of it. That's also a drawback because you really can't see all of it. 
but that just means there's more for next time. Uh, when I was here before, I didn't go past the bridge here. I wasn't aware that there, this beach was even here. So this is a nice thing to know. It's a pretty nice open gravel beach. Of course, the really bad thing about a gravel beach this large at the end of December is knowing that come May or June, all of these rocks are gonna be turned over and new rocks will replace some of them and they'll get all jumbled up in a different place. And so there could be rocks that I am not seeing and that will never be seen. And that is sort of sad and also sort of exciting. Funny story, my dog found a dog friend and has just spent the last half an hour running back and forth and not letting me catch her or else not letting the fellow who owned the other dog catch his dog. And so I've been back and forth across this beach a lot more than I thought I was going to. Not an agate, just a super fun rock. Does anybody know how that's formed? It looks like maybe another one of those cavities that the agates are formed in, but I don't know. Here's another very pretty rock. Jasper? Agate? Jaspagate? I don't know, but it's pretty. Now I've got a real pickle, because this, I'm pretty sure, is an agate. And it is in the ground very, very hard. So I guess I'll put the camera down and see if I can figure out how to get it out of there. Time to tell myself it's not an agate and move on. I can't believe how hard that thing is frozen in the ground. I don't have any tools or anything, only my fingers and my fingers are not strong enough to let get that out of there. So maybe it'll get turned over and one of you will find it next year. Well, that's pretty much the end of a really beautiful day. 2019 has been great to me. I hope the next year is as wonderful to you. This is Kate from Katie Did. Keep on doing.